Hey DIY Nation, Mr. DIY back with another home security film. I'm going to show you how to make your windows shatter resistant. In my previous video, I showed you how to increase the security of your door by replacing the screws in the striker plate. In this video, I'm going to show you how to increase the security of the window in your door, or it could be just a general window in your house, by applying a security film to the window. Well, it will not make the window impervious to smashing, it will make it more smash resistant. The film adheres to the glass, and when the glass is shattered, it holds it all in place, slowing down the intruder and buying you precious time. Stay tuned to the end, because I'm going to show you just how much abuse this window can take. All right, here's the supply list for this project. So you're going to, of course, need some window film, a plastic spudger. My kit came with one. I have two razor blades, one for cutting the film, one for scraping any paint and grime off the window itself dish soap and a spray water bottle and a screw gun. You may or may not need this, but I'm using it to remove my window from the window frame. Additionally, I have some paper towels uh, and some rags handy and a vacuum. I use the vacuum to clean up just the grime and make sure I have a dust-free work environment. All right, first things first, I need to remove this frame around the window. Now I got the window frame out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean it and prep it. So I can see that there's some paint on here, uh, left over, and some, uh, some, uh, just some crud on the window. So we're going to clean that off real nice. What we're going to do is we're going to apply this to the inner, inner pane. This is a dual pane window, so uh, you typically want to apply it on the inner pane. That's what's going to keep everything, when it tries to get smashed in, to keep it in, uh, intact in your house. So I am going to get my soapy water mixed up. Uh, the directions call for one 16 ounce bottle of water. This is just a spray bottle with just regular old water in it. And then I'm going to use uh, six to eight drops of Dawn dish soap. There we go. So we're going to put that in there and then we're going to shake it up. And this is going to help lubricate and clean. I'm going to scrape along the edge of the window, get off all the old paint. Because I want this thing to adhere well into the edges of the window. All right, I'm also using lint-free cloth just because I had some available. So uh, regular old paper towels will probably work, but uh, lint-free, again, try and keep everything as clean as possible. All right, once I got the window laid out, cleaned and washed, I'm gonna lay out my film here. Sorry, it's a little bit is off camera. I'm gonna cut this to have an inch of overlap. I'm actually gonna lay it out here on the window. Now what we have to do is we have to separate the uh, backing from the actual film. And I'm gonna try and stand this up here on my chair to hopefully give you a better view. And we need to get my tape. So what we wanna do is take the tape and put it on a corner with a tab pull tab, and then the backing with a pull tab. We want those to not stick together, but the sticky side is facing each other so we can peel them apart. We're gonna start at one end, and then we're gonna, as we peel them apart, we're gonna spray the spray in there. Now, if you're doing this on a big window, I would recommend definitely having an extra set of hands really come in handy. So now, I'm going to split these and figure out which side is my backer. All right, it looks like my top sides of the film. So what I'm going to want to do is I peel this apart, spray more, liberally spray water in there so it doesn't stick back together. And I need to flip this over get my window again and lay this down so that my backer
is down. I don't want to, I'm very careful not to crinkle or wrinkle the film because that'll show in the final finished product. And again, I'm trying to only hold on to the uh, tape as to not get my smudgy fingerprints on. I'm going to flip that underneath. And lay the film down on the window here to center it up as best I can for the start. Now I'm going to come down here as I peel it off, lay it down, lay it and spray it. And again, plenty of solution. We're going to run it across the top, squeeze out the water. And when the water comes out, it's going to stick. And I'm going to go down the middle in a T fashion. All right, just going nice and slow. I'm gonna get a paper towel here. All right. And I'm gonna do overlapping swipes as I squeeze it out. So just do half on each side. Overlap each one, taking careful look to not leave any bubbles or water. Wipe it clean. Now I'm going to trim the edges. All right, now that I got it all on there to size, I'm going to trim it. Or I've got it all stuck, I'm going to trim it to size. Uh, one thing I'm noticing as I'm trimming, it's peeling back a little bit. So keep your spudger handy. Yeah, see right there, a little bubble. You probably can't see it on the camera. Just push that out. So just make sure you don't raise up any bubbles during that whole process. Because the edge is the most important spot. It's where the film is going to adhere. All right, we got the window back installed. The film is on, it's curing. It's gonna take a day or two till we're up to full strength for the uh, bond between the film and the uh, window to fully finish drying. Uh, but in the meantime, we're letting it dry. We got a nice uh, secure, we'll have a nice secure shatter resistant window here protecting that lock from the inside. I recommend if you do this, you start on a smaller window, get some experience working with the film, uh, peeling that backer off. That can be especially tricky to get the back off, spray it and then stick it um, start on a smaller window, work your way up to the bigger windows in your house. And uh, if you've got any questions, drop them down in the comments below. Please like and share and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks. All right, DIYers. Now we're back to see what this window really can take. So finally, it did bust at the edge where the film stripped off.